To initially set up your Android device for screen mirroring, first ensure that your Android device is on Android Operating System 7.0 or newer. Then pair the device via Bluetooth to the receiver. We'll enter into the device settings and select Bluetooth and pair new device. We'll then select the DMX125BT on the device. You'll notice that once a successful connection has been made, a Bluetooth icon will display to the left of the clock. Next, we'll need to access the Google Play Store and then search for the Mirroring for Kenwood application. You'll see Mirroring OB for Kenwood displayed. Select that icon and then select Install. After the application has been installed, we can go back to the device's home screen. Then we'll need to connect the device to the receiver's USB input. Once connected, you'll see a few acceptance messages. Go ahead and check the box and select OK on the first one, and then check the box and select Start Now on the second one. Now you will see the display of the device displayed on the receiver. Depending upon the device, you may also have touchscreen control from the receiver. On this device, you'll notice the screen orientation. Now when I access the settings, you'll see that the screen then displays across the entire display of the receiver, again allowing us to have touchscreen control. We can select this icon to take us back to the home page. Now you will also have access to video and map content, keeping in mind that the parking brake must be engaged to use the Android screen mirroring function. We could access YouTube, and here we have the Kenwood USA YouTube page. We could start a video for playback, and you will see that the video playback does display across the entire screen of the receiver. Now again, at any point in time, we can exit back to the home page. We can use any of the on-screen controls just as you normally would. We'll select the bottom icon to go back to the home page. And you will also notice that you can do things just like you could on the phone. We'll go ahead and slide up and then access the other pages running in the background. For example, one of the pages here is going to be our Waze Maps. This is a great way to use the new Android screen mirroring function as you have touchscreen controls to map functions like the Waze and other maps that are available within the Google Play Store. So again, just a sampling of some of the great new feature sets within the Kenwood DMX125BT. Kenwood.